What's up guys? I'm back in Florida. I'm gonna head down to PBH uh, for my you know daily lunch routine. But I wanted to show you that I got her back. That's right. Jean Grey is back in the house and sporting a new 4R200 transmission. A couple of cool things I want to show you guys about the 4R200, how it drives. I've already driven it for a day and uh, it's a pretty amazing trans. If you saw the last video where I showed you a quick clip of me going 30 to 110 in one gear, um, no gear shifts, just bah, you know, the whole way, just rolling the fuck out. So now, after talking to John Lund Jr., we've made a couple of changes to illustrate how the 4R200 works, and we have a little surprise of some stuff that we were talking about at the track rental that we hoped we could basically bring to the high horsepower 6R80 guys, see if it works out for them. But I'm gonna try out the 4R200, show you the gear display. I'm gonna make sure that the gear is displayed even in drive so that you can see mile an hour RPM and what gear it's in so that you know that I'm actually driving a car with a 4R200 equipped and I'm not just messing around with the paddles to fool you. Let's get a program key on. Tuning. Oh, tune. Now, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> this is the 4R200 base. We're gonna go ahead and install that. I already installed it, but it did not have the display showing the gear that it was in so I'm gonna flash this one with the display showing what gear I'm in drive down the road in drive and show you what all is uh, what this 4R200 is all about watch it go into gear and you can see the RPM drop so that I don't you know you don't think I'm just kind of messing with the paddles to make you think it's uh, doing something it's not almost done it's about a three minute wait, maybe three, three and a half minutes, but boom, gotta love it. So this is a crucial guys. When you see this come up, if you have a uh, Lund Racing Engage, turn it off for a legit 10 seconds. I mean, legit 10 seconds. And 10 Mississippi. <laughs> and then start it up because if not, it might wig the car out and it didn't de-energize properly. So just take your time, take your time. Let's get this guy going. disconnected in the firewall um, so the good thing is you'll be able to see when I put it in drive that the car will be in first gear and then as I drive you should see it go one two three but not like a 6r80 would a 6r80 would be you know one two three four five six pretty quickly what I'm gonna do is basically show you how a 4r200 shifts and the gear being displayed will kind of help you understand what the whole functionality and everything of the 4R200 uh, actually does and how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to data log the whole drive down to power by the hour just in case anything pops up that might need some attention. If you have any issues, try to data log, but don't be like me and get, you know, get a 30 minute log, you know, capture the condition in the log and uh, you should be Yellow lights flickering, we're logging. So now let's put it in drive. Oh, and it shows the gear displayed. Perfect. Let's get going on the road and we'll see how it shifts. About to pull out here. And uh, just gonna keep keep an eye on the display so you guys can see what the deal is. as it should on on the base um, I put the window down so you guys can hear it but on the base file itself um, you know the last time this car drove was up in Maple Grove before it broke and the difference between that file and this file is John Jr's changes to the 4R200 hub the shifting is pretty darn great 
you saw the gear display uh, the gears appropriately and you saw it going overdrive at about 65 mile an hour but it showed fourth gear this car still has the 315 gears and it has the 3c converter so I think that's all working just like it should now there's another thing I want to show you guys that we're working on for you extremely high horsepower 6r80 guys I'm talking big boy 750 and up rear wheel horsepower guys that you will benefit um, from especially if you're having trouble hooking in first gear if you're not really going to go the 6r80 route now you're probably asking yourself if you're a mustang owner and you're up on things well alex don't you want more gears don't you want more more gears because the 10 speed 10r80 shifts so fast and don't you want more gears well not when you're making a lot of horsepower in my opinion when you're making anything over 800 900 while the 10 speed does seem to work real well i think less gears is more desirable and a more favorable gear stack meaning or not gear stack but gear ratio so that you can apply a ton of nut on the hit i bet people that have a 10 r80 or a 6 r80 with a 315 and a stock first gear ratio they either tried to leave in second gear because it's like a two something as opposed to a four something and they have to apply the power a little later whereas people that have like a power glide or a 400 can give it all the beans on the hit or at least a lot more so than if they had a low first gear ratio so in my opinion i think when you have a lot of horsepower like this car does have which is in the close to 900 rear wheel horsepower range it longer gears favorite now i wanted to show you what it ha what happens when i come to a stop it just downshifts like normal you see the gear display go three two one or just three one so it doesn't do that clunk exactly and there you go okay so you guys always wondered you know hey why did i want to join the lun team again well this right here cool stuff like this let me show you exactly come on baby what that's gonna do and it literally is gonna do what it's saying it's gonna do we're gonna disable first gear sorry about the glare Ooh, there we go but the moment of truth is i'm gonna turn the car on and this is the test turn it on put it in drive do not move it forward now why did we even think of doing this okay real quick a lot of you guys that are making under 1200 horse are gonna go why guys that are making over that are gonna go yeah we totally get it with a 6r80 so let's say for instance you're having trouble hooking at the track okay you're having trouble so you think of launching in second let's say you make an eight nine hundred rear wheel on the 6r80 and you want to launch in second for whatever reason this is all hypothetical i'm not even sure we're going to offer this tune but it's just cool to know that we can do it so after after some testing at uh, maple grove john reached out to sean at aed and they started talking back and forth about a second gear leave that you can just put it in drive and the car automatically goes to second gear so let's try it so remember i turned on the display okay and you'll be able to see where the shifter is located because i'm not yeah, yeah i know i got all this shit yeah yeah so when i put it in drive it should go to second and i'm going to make sure you see that i'm not moving the car at all boom so it goes right to second gear meaning i launch in second gear okay so theoretically theoretically now we're talking if you're at the track and you're making big boy horsepower and are having trouble hooking in first which is a 417 on a 6r80 you might be able to launch in second to a more favorable gear or if you're making crazy horsepower and you want a favorable long second hey this is uh an option so let me do it again see park Just like that goes in a second gear without you lurching the car forward again john jr reached out to sean at aed they got together we communicate with everybody because we're not looking to be all chippy it's all about making sure the customer has access to everything so again another reason i went to lund racing was for cool stuff like this and just to show that i'm not paddle shifting it you see the two my hands are over here there you go so there you go guys i showed you oh God, let me wipe it oh i look so hazy <laughs> so there you go guys i wanted to show you what we're able to do okay and i think it's really cool that you're able to 
put a 4R200 in a car and have a three speed overdrive transmission on a car that makes a lot of horsepower. You have the ability to launch in second gear. So we're gonna try to figure out the trans brake situation there. Again, this is why I wanted to join the Lund team again. Um, and they also you know, reached out to me and it's a mutually beneficial relationship. I wanna thank Sean at AED, John Lund Jr. because those guys were the ones that made this happen. Other tuners, you have to kind of lurch the car forward a little bit and it'll go in a second, but we wanted to make it work by just going into drive from park and boom, it goes right into second gear, just like we wanted to. Just wanted to show you some cool stuff. Hopefully you guys find this interesting. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later.